Victory Church in O'Fallon, Illinois. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Wow, here we are, two days away from the year 2023. It's hard to believe that we're that far in uh, to the year 2000, 2023. So anyway, here we are at the end of the year, and uh, I realize that everyone, as we start thinking about the new year, starts thinking about New Year's resolutions and thinking about the past year and thinking about the next year and things we want to improve upon, things we want to focus on, things we want to be better at. Well, today I just want to jump on here and encourage you real quick. I want to share with you five steps that can help you with a fresh start in the year 2023. No doubt you look back over the last year, uh, 2022, in your own life, you may see some failures, you may see some victories, uh, you, may, you may not have a achieve those goals that you wanted to achieve. You may have made some mistakes. You may have burned some bridges or uh, destroyed or uh, some of relationships may be in trouble. Uh, regardless of whatever's happened in the past, I want you to know that you can have a fresh start in the year 2023. That's what I want to share with you here real quickly. I'm reminded of a, ver of a verse of scripture in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19. Scripture says, the Lord says, forget what happened before and do not think about the past. Look at the new thing I am going to do. It is already happening. Don't you see it? I will make a road in the desert and rivers in dry land. Well, my question to you is simply this. Would you like to have a fresh start? You may say, yeah, pastor, I would, but you wouldn't believe all the mistakes that I've made. You wouldn't believe all the, all the things that I've messed up over the past year. Well, let me remind you that that's Satan's job to remind you of that. John 10:10 10, 10 says, and this is what Jesus says about Satan himself. He says, a thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy, but I am come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. I'm here to encourage you today and let you know that we have good news, right? Because what God is saying is, and what he said through Isaiah, what he's saying here in John 10:10 10, 10 about he wants us to have a more abundant life as we live our life in and through him. What he's simply saying is, I wanna give you a fresh start. What he's simply saying is, I wanna give you a new beginning. What he told Isaiah, what Isaiah told God's people was simply, I'm gonna do something new in your life. So let me use the acronym START, S-T-A-R-T. Let me give you five steps that will help you to make a fresh start in the year 2023. The letter S, stop making excuses, right? Stop making excuses. If you want to have a fresh life, you've got to stop making excuses for all your failures. You have to stop blaming other people. You have to stop seeing yourself as a victim in all the circumstances that you're in, and you must start seeing yourself as a victor. So step number one, it's time to own it. It's time to step up to the plate. Stop making excuses. Step number two, the letter T in start. Take an inventory of your life. Do an evaluation of your life. Evaluate all of your experiences that you've had over the past year or really over your entire lifetime. Galatians chapter three and verse number four says this, says you've experienced many things and were all those experiences wasted? And he says, I hope not. Listen, here's one thing I know. God does not want to waste any experience that he's allowed you to live through. So all of those experiences that you have been through I want you to evaluate those, take inventory of those in your life and see what it is that God is teaching you. See what it is that God is showing you. See what it is, the lesson that he's wanting you to learn in your particular life. Then once you pass that test, you can check the box and move on to the next level, so to speak. God uses our experiences and he never wants to waste any experience that we have. God uses our personal experiences to shape us into the person that he wants us to be. He uses our vocational and our educational experiences. He uses our spiritual experiences. And get this, yes, he even uses our painful experiences to shape us into the person that he wants us to be. So the letter T, take an inventory in your life. That is step number two. Let me give you step number three. Step number three is simply act in faith. Say it with me. Act in faith. 
That's step number three. I mean, it's time to put some things into action. And the Bible says that the key to changing anything is faith. And if you want to change anything in your life, you've got to have faith, right? Uh, Jesus said in Matthew 9, 29, he said, according to your faith, it will be done. It's a very simple statement, but oh, how powerful that is. It means that we tend to get out of life what we expect, right? So let me ask you a question. What are you expecting in life? I'm reminded of the passage of scripture in Acts chapter three, verses one through five. Let me read this to you. It says, now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him, with John said, look on us. And get this now, the lame man now, the scripture says, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something from them. Now, he, he received a whole lot more maybe than what he was expecting, but he looked to Peter and John expecting to see something from them. What are you expecting out of life? Uh, what are some of the dreams and goals and plans and achievements that you're trying to achieve? What are you expecting, right? So I think you've got to get to the place where you act in faith. If you continue reading in Acts chapter 3 down through verse number 11 or so, uh, after the, the man that was laid there at the gate called Beautiful looked up to Peter and John expecting to receive something from them, Peter said this. He said, I don't have a nickel to my name, but what I do have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And he grabbed him by the right hand, he pulled him up, and in an instant his feet and his ankles became firm and he jumped to his feet and he walked and the man went to the temple with them, walking back and forth and dancing and praising God. And everybody there saw him walking around and praising God. And they recognized him as the one who had sat begging at the temple's gate, beautiful, and rubbed their eyes, astonished, sca scarcely believing what they were seeing. The man threw his arms around Peter and John ecstatic. And all the people ran up to where they were at Solomon's porch to see it for themselves. The point I'm just simply trying to make is this. The lame man acted in faith and was greatly rewarded. So we must act in faith. Number four. Number four. Refocus your thoughts. S-T-A-R. The letter R stands. Refocus. Say refocus. Refocus your thoughts. If you really want to get going, if you really want to have a fresh start, you need to rethink the way you think. Right? Now let that sink in. You need to change your mind about a number of issues. I'm reminded in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23, the scripture says, Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Proverbs 4:23. Guys, you realize that the way you think oftentimes determines the way you feel. And the way you feel oftentimes determines the way you act. So if you want to change your actions, you must change the way you think. Romans chapter 12 and verse number two says that we are to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Well, what's the best thing to focus on? Going into 2023, what would be the very best thing that each of us could focus on? I'll tell you what it is. It's the word of God. To focus on God's word. I'm reminded what the psalmist said in Psalm 1. He said this. He said, happy are those who are always meditating on God's word. They're like trees along the river not to dry up. They succeed in everything they do. You see, there are two things that everyone wants in life. To be happy and to succeed, right? Well, the scripture says the best way to reach those goals, to be happy and succeed, is to spend time daily in the word of God. Well, let me do a little commercial right here. At Victory Church, we're in the middle of, a, uh, of our small group Bible study. It's our discipleship motto at Victory Church called the Foundations New Testament Bible Reading Schedule that we're on. And every day, Monday through Friday, we read one chapter in the Bible. And then we do the Hear Journal on that, where we write down or we meditate, we think. We highlight the scriptures for the letter H. We highlight the scriptures that are speaking to us from just that one chapter. The letter E stands for explain. We explain within the context of scripture what's taking place there in that Bible reading that we're reading for that day. 
The letter A stands for apply. We apply it to our ourselves and to our life. What's a takeaway from that particular verse of scripture that I can apply to my life? And then the letter R is for respond, right? We respond to God in prayer with what he has shown us in scripture for that day. So I want to encourage you simply to refocus your thoughts. And what you need to do is start spending more time in the word of God. Here's something else I want you to do. We have at Victory Church something we call V groups. It's our discipleship model. They're small groups where we get together and we unpack what we're reading together uh, in that one chapter or those chapters that we've read that week. And we talk about those in our small group. If you would like more information about our small group, I want you to just text us, if you will, type the word V group, V G R O U P, V group, and text it to 866 593 0081 and you can get some information about our victory v groups small groups that we have where we are studying and meditating on the word of god together so the letter r just simply says refocus your thoughts let me give you step number five last one the letter t what is that trust the lord to help you succeed the letter t trust everybody say trust trust the lord to help you succeed in other words depend on him. You say, is it that simple? Yes. Profoundly, yes. Trust in the Lord to help you succeed. And whatever it is that you're doing, whatever path that you're walking, as you're following him, reading his word, living out his purpose in your life, he's going to help you succeed. So we just need to start trusting in him. And we need to stop depending upon ourselves. Zechariah chapter four and verse number six says this, You will not succeed by your own strength or your power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Psalm 121 says this in verse 7 and 8. The Lord keeps you from all harm and he watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go both now and forever. So I want you to know it's the Lord that we need to put our trust in. So God specializes in new beginnings and he wants to give you a fresh start in the year 2023 and jesus christ has the power to do just that you know what it's called it's called being born again it's called trusting jesus christ as your savior it's a chance to start over and we can have a fresh start we can have a new life as we begin the year 2023 so god is simply saying i don't want you to turn over a new leaf What he's saying is, I want to give you a whole new life in the person of Jesus Christ. I want you to trust Jesus as your Savior. So let me ask you a question in wrapping this up. Will you make a fresh start in 2023? Will you have a new beginning? Will you trust in Jesus as your Savior and follow him as your Lord? Well, the choice is yours. So how can we have a fresh start? The letter S, stop making excuses. The letter T, Take an inventory in your life. The letter A, act in faith. The letter R, refocus your thoughts. The letter T, trust God. Well, together, why don't we all make a fresh start in the year 2023? Let's apply these five steps to our lives. So may you and your family, may you walk in God's favor. May you walk under his blessings in the whole new year. And from our family, the Cannon family to yours, I want to wish you all a happy and prosperous, spirit-filled new year with a brand new beginning and a fresh start. God bless you.